But Amal, you must agree that something sure, mechanical cannot be said, Sure, but the yes? brain is a machine. A biological machine. And it thinks. It happens to be made of living cells, but it would make no difference if the machine was made of electronic gates and circuits, or paper clips and rubber bands for that matter. It just has to be able to compute. Computers compute. Brains think. Is the machine thinking? If it's playing chess and you can't tell from the moves if the computer's playing white or black, it's thinking. <sighs> what it's doing is a lot of binary operations following the rules of its program. So is a brain. But can a computer do what a brain can do? Are you kidding? A brain doesn't come close. <sighs> do you want to jump in? Uh, not much. Really? Why? Oh, it's not deep, that's thinking. An adding machine on speed. A two-way switch with a memory. <laughs> Why wouldn't it play chess? But when it's me to move, is the computer thoughtful? Or is it sitting there like a toaster? It's sitting there like a toaster. So what would be your idea of deep? A computer that minds losing. If I made a computer simulating a human brain, neuron by neuron, it would mind losing. Do you agree? No. A mouse machine wouldn't be conscious? No. But how would you tell? You can't tell by watching the wheels go round. Just like with a brain. I couldn't tell what you're thinking by watching what your brain is doing, or even that you're thinking. I'll tell you what I'm thinking. There is overwhelming evidence that the brain causes consciousness. There's overwhelming evidence that brain activity correlates with consciousness, registers consciousness. Nobody's got anywhere trying to show how the brain is conscious. This is sophistry. So how would consciousness come about? <laughs> I have no idea. And nor does anyone else. I thought that's why we're here to crack the hard problem.